All right, so in this video, we are going to put these side holes in here and here, here and here, and then this part will be done for now. All right, now of course, this is the, the going to be your derby car blank, so we're going to continue working on this, but for now, this is going to be done again for now. So kind of recap what we did last week um so and and of course if you want to edit any of this it's all very editable it, it's you just grab things and and it, it's really simple all right so it's where we faced it where we roughed everything out well not roughed everything where we roughed down one inch all right then we finished the outside and then you know of course went went on down so just to kind of recap show that on a simulation okay so there's our there's our part there that's what it's going to look like coming out of op one all right again g54 is going to be center center we posted that code um and yeah, so every everything's good. Everything's uh, everything on this side is done. So the only thing we've got left to do is here, and here, and then here, and here. Okay. So let's uh, let's look at where we should set our origin. Okay. So when you look at this drawing. And we're looking at these 632 holes here and here. So if you look at this, it doesn't matter where these holes are positioned on the blank. It only matters that they are 4.375 apart from one another. All right. One thing that you want to be cautious of, though, is you want to make sure that you're not going to run into any of these. All right, so what, what I'm saying, this one inch, that's a reference dimension, okay? So if we shifted this down some and kept that 4.375, we could potentially run into this hole, okay? But for, for the sake of what we're doing here, we're just going to, cam it as is all right but i wanted to point that out because that's going to dictate where we set our origin okay now if everything was coming off of this side or this side then obviously we would want to dimension from there we would want to program from there okay um you know own round parts if everything is dimensioned off the center then you would want your origin to be in the center Okay, so you want what's important to be the center, basically, or not the center, what's important to be the origin, okay? So, right here, we've got one inch over, then 4.375, so to me, it makes sense for us to set that origin right there, all right, pretty, pretty simple. So we're going to come back over here. So, well, I'll tell you one, one more thing. You've got a long side. You've got a, a side where you've got a bigger gap here. And then you have a short side. So it makes sense for us to dimension from that short side. All right, that'll make a little more sense when we get into this. Okay? So when we do these holes, it's going to sit in the, it's going to sit in the machine like this with the back jaw here. Obviously these holes won't be here yet, but it'll you'll take it like this. It's running like this. Then you'll flip it. Come on. Like that. With the machine surface to the back jaw. Okay? Now, you're still going to have stock hanging off the bottom that's going to go to the movable jaw, but that's not going to hurt anything. You'll you'll set parallels under here to space that up 
because your material is going to look like this. So your material is going to look like that. So this will go, this surface here will go to the back jaw. This surface here will sit on parallels. And this surface, right, all this, this material is just going to float out in space. And your back jaw is going to come into contact here. And you're just, that's just going to provide force against the back jaw. Okay, because there's nothing precise about this, this, any of these surfaces. The only precision we have is what's been machined. All right. Now, I say that because, again, you see the short side and then you see the long side. So we need to make sure that we keep the short side to the correct orientation. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize our op one and I'm going to do a new setup. Okay. All this stuff is good. You should remember this from the last assignment you did. And our orientation is going to be select Z and X. So our Z is now going to be running this way. And our X is going to be running this way. Need to flip it like that. So our part is oriented correctly. I'm going to go model box point and I'm going to select that corner. So that's going to be our origin. Now again, notice that I did model box point, not stock box point. So model box point, very important. All right. And all, all this is good. We're going to go to stock. And I'm, no, th this is something you can always go in and, and add stock, move stock, whatever. But for this one, we've got our stock is going to be an odd shape because it's going to have some carryover stock. It hasn't been completely machined yet. Okay. So what we're going to do is do relative or do um, relative size box and I'm just going to do zero stock on all surfaces so when you look at it it thinks the stock is the same size as the part which is fine for what we're doing all right sometimes you have to tell a little a little white lie to get the software to do what you want it to do all right and then we're going to go right here and for your program name, I don't remember what we named the last one, but I think we did. I, I don't I don't remember. All right, so oh man, I lost my setup. All right, I'll redo that. I'm gonna pause you and redo that. All right, so again, I I lost it, so I'm just gonna go back through, do that one more time. So I'm just gonna kind of speed through it a little bit faster. All right, we're going to select Z and X or Z here, X here, flip that model here. That's what we want here. And whatever you want to name this, uh, let's just go 14302 all right, for DCC02. Right, and then this is going to be ADC side holes short side to right. Now I say short side to right because when you put this in a machine, that short side needs to go to the operator's right. I'm just going to name this. ADC op two um, side holes short side to right. Okay, pretty simple. We're going to go new operation, and now we are going to go drill. 
Right, now, lucky for us, a lot of our tools are still in our tool library. So we're going to select here. We're gonna find that spot drill here. Select. Now, we are going to select our holes. Okay. And then for our depth, where it's trying to go to hole bottom, we're gonna say hole top. And we're gonna go, let's just say 40 thousandths and see what that looks like. And then for drilling, I say we just drill that. All right, so if you look, I'm going to the positive side, right? So that needs to be changed. You can see where my toolpath is not going down. So if I run that on graphics, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna spot drill, not actually hit anything. So, easy fix. Go edit, I'm gonna edit that code, or edit that strategy. Go here, and go negative 40. That's more in line with what we want. Okay, now it's too deep. So if you come right here and look, you can see that's gonna to be too deep. We're just going to come here, see what 30 looks like. Still a little too deep. Let's see what 20 looks like. That's probably about what we want. Okay. Going to change this name to spot two locations. Okay. From here, we're going to create derived operation drilling drill. Going to grab the correct drill, which is going to be a 138. That's actually a tap. I'm sorry. We're going to have a 125 drill. All right. So eighth inch drill. Again, these are roll form taps. All right. So it remembers my locations. And I'm just going to go whole bottom. I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to drill tip through bottom which if you look is driving that tool all the way to the tip without hold on without that Hmm. I was hoping it was going to show you. Doesn't look like it's changing anything, so which is fine. Now for cycle, we're going to go deep drilling, full retract which is going to be a G83. Pecking depth is going to be 0.125 divided by three. And okay. And change this name.
Now we just need to tap it. So we're going to create derived operation, drilling, drill. Come here. Now we're going to grab the tap. Select. Oh, that's fine. Heights. And I'm going to go whole bottom with a hundred thousandths to the other side. I don't want to tap all the way down to the same depth I drilled. Obviously that's going to be bad. Okay. Cycle. You're going to go right hand tapping. And you're done. All right, so your spot drilling. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Obviously, it's going to have threads in it. Okay. So there's that one, holes to the right. We can post process that, that code. So I'm, all I'm gonna do is right click, post process. I'm gonna come right over here, pre next gen control. All this stuff should be the same from when you did it last time and post, okay? I'm not going to worry about posting it, but when you post it, you're just going to take this code that you post and you're going to submit that in Canvas. That's going to be one of your assignments for this week. Okay? So you're going to do that for Op 2 and Op 3. So you are going to be responsible for doing the same thing on this side. Okay? So we did this side together. You're going to be responsible for doing this side. So when you save this into your shared folder, you're going to have op one, op two, and op three. Okay. And that's all it is to it for that one. Pretty simple. All right. So there's the uh, aluminum derby car side holes. Pretty simple. I was able to keep the video pretty short. Um, and uh, more to come. Got another project uh, getting ready to get started on.